Hey guys, long time no see. Um, so I just wanted to, I've been wanting to film this video for a long time, but um, I didn't manage to gather all the materials until now. Um, so today I want to share with you this product that I found from Japan the last time I was there. So it was like one year ago in May and um, it is the best, honestly, hands down best CC cream I've ever set my hands on. And it is this. Sugao, Sugao CC cream and it has SPF 23 and it comes in a packet like this uh, my friend helped me got some more from Japan and um, I might want to do a uh, giveaway with these so stay tuned but um, I want to tell you a little bit more about this product and how it works first so um, it comes in a little tiny tube like this I mean First of all, you guys are pretty familiar with like the BB cream and CC cream and stuff like that, right? It originated from Korea and it's kind of like a lotion-y foundation that is used to replace normal foundation. It, it supposedly has a... Um, it gives your skin a baby kind of feeling. That's why it was called BB cream, I think, to, you know, like baby skin. So it's meant to be very light but um, gives your skin a kind of... Um, shiny but not oily kind of sheen but um, because I'm very like a I'm not oily I have normal skin but um, in summer especially I sweat a lot in my t-zone so it's very hard for most of my products to stay on my face um, and also because I don't usually have a lot of problem with my skin I don't really use a lot of foundation anyway so I skipped that part but um, I tested this product out at the um, Japan like drugs cosmetic store and basically the texture of it is very light. It's almost like souffle, like when you squeeze it out. Um, it's very puffy, it's not oily like usual Korean BB creams are and when you spread it out it's so matte. Can you see that? It spreads out like a dream. Like cake. Um, the... not like cake. Um, it's not cakey at all actually. So after I spread that out, it blends with my skin tone. They, um, I think it originally came with two shades. So one is the lighter one and obviously I got the darker one. And, um, as you can see, it definitely smoothened out my, um, Skin. It made it, apparently it lessens your pores but also gives it this kind of transparency. So it doesn't give you that heavy, cakey kind of look that powder or even liquid foundation can give you. Um, but So after you put it on, basically it feels like you just put on lotion. Um, it's a little bit moisturizing or I would even say, um, unfortunately, teeny 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 tiny bit um, on the oily side but not so much that you would feel uncomfortable it just feels smooth like moisturized or nourished so um, this is basically like a for me a two-in-one so I could just use it as foundation plus concealer if I'm feeling brave or um, use it as replacement for foundation yeah so it is literally the best okay so let me give you a quick comparison between um, the Maybelline mineral BB cream and the Sugao uh, CC cream so this is also another Japan product well at least it launched in Japan um, this has SPF 50 while this has SPF 20 Three, so that might be the reason why it's more oily but um, so the texture of this is a lot more liquid Can you see that first of all and um, it's a lot thicker so when you blend it out it's a lot shinier it's not dry um, so it looks like the right side, it's I'm not sure if you can see. The right side is a lot more 
well not a lot more, a little bit shinier and, and it feels on the hand stickier, like lotion, but this one feels like um, a matte uh, texture, so it's kind of like the Neutrogena Ultra Sheen, that, that kind of texture. So it's a lot more suitable for people who have oily skin or kind of have the um, oily T-zone going on, like like I have right now. Um, yeah, I honestly super super highly recommend this and it doesn't streak and it blends in amazingly and it gives you that kind of natural, flawless um, look that you would love to have during summer, you know, yeah. So I hope that you guys get the chance to try it out as well. It's definitely not expensive. It's like slightly over a hundred Hong Kong dollars, not US dollars. So it would be around um, less than 20 US dollars. Uh, let me know if you guys are interested in trying it out. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. Yeah, leave a comment below. Maybe you might be the lucky winner. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.